Hello everyone, I'm Gabriel Real, and this is the Rise of Magic Show. Uh, took a couple of days off, it's been around four or five days, because I've been really busy um, trying to organize all these things and trying to um, get everything very organized, and I haven't had time for anything lately um, <clears throat> these past couple of days. But now that I've gotten everything uh, fully organized, um, back to the show, I want to have it um, every every day now. I noticed the camera looks a little grainy. I don't know why. It's like the... Let me try something. Maybe if I try settings, it's already recording, so... Oh, I also forgot to hook up the, hook up the, the microphone. Uh, I believe the voice gets it uh, still good without the microphone, but it, it get, I believe it gets it even better with the microphone. Uh, plus, it looks a little cooler also. Um, <clears throat> so I noticed the camera quality looks a little different today than other days. Um, <clears throat> it's weird. I mean, I remember when I first started the show. It wasn't looking that kind of quality. So I don't know. I might be having to do something with the settings. And uh, the settings in the... So I'm using QuickTime on a Mac. And uh, I'm not sure the QuickTime players was causing it to look like that. It's weird because um, when I first started the show at the beginning of this year, <coughs> the videos were looking good. Now all of a sudden the video quality is looking like uh, way, way different. Um, so I will get to the bottom of why the quality is looking so bad. Um, I don't know. Could it just be lighting? I mean, let, let's try this. Let's try a, an experiment here. Let's try turning the flashlight on the phone on and see if it takes out the grainy particles that I'm seeing. Now I want to um, put like a studio light here and uh, one right here I know you can't really see because like it's on the side but it's like in the front one right here and one right here like on the sides uh, shining the light on me so I notice yeah <clears throat> for example say if I have a studio light just facing up it looks the same, right? It looks the same there and there. So if you face the light up, it makes no difference. If you face it down, you have too much of this lighting up. So if I have it behind me, obviously it makes it look darker. How weird is that? <clears throat> so, oh, that looks cool. See, that's what you call a lens flare. Whenever you shine the light and the camera hits it a certain way, that creates a lens flare like that. Wow, that's the first time I've seen that. That's and it look you can make it look like it disappears. A lot of people try to fake uh, apparitions in UFOs like that, but it's just basically a lens flare. Um, <clears throat> so I noticed the quality looks a little grainy today, and my face looks a little blue also. Um, so. To fix that, I'm thinking, um, <clears throat> you know, for example, I, I could shine a light right here, you know. And now, if it's on my face, it makes my face look too white, you know. Um, <clears throat> it's way too bright. If I move it back, it makes the background get way darker. So I need to um, <clears throat> experiment with the lighting. You know, if, if I move it up, and far away like this I mean it kind of gets better but there's parts where it, like it gets darker you know and lighting is very tricky you know because <clears throat> see that right there is too bright and then when I move it any other way it's like yeah that looks good but my face is too bright and the background's too dark so I really don't know how I'm going to fix this lighting, you know, because the way it looks like this, I hate to say, but it looks horrible. And it's weird because <clears throat> my first videos weren't looking like this. So I don't know what's going on, if it's a setting in QuickTime or something. Um, 
there's not really any way to go into the settings. I mean, the settings are pretty limited. Um, you know, it doesn't have like an equalizer, like on music, um, where you uh, take out the bass, raise the bass, uh, the treble, raise and lower it. There's nothing like that for video to where you can equalize, take out the grading parts, so I don't know. I hear how QuickTime is very limited. You can't take out the grading particles like this. <clears throat> so there's nothing in the nothing in the options where you can fix that. You know, so that is very strange. And it's not my, my camera smudged or anything. No, it's not that. So <clears throat> it's very strange. I don't know what it is. But I remember the first videos, and even recent, of just what, like, three weeks ago weren't even looking like this, so. I really don't know what it is. There's no options here where you can fix that. I wish there was. Um, let's see. These are the, on quick time, these are the only things you could do. Uh, uh, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete. Rotate left and right and flip upside down and you know I mean come on. You can't really adjust the quality. Uh, so it's like what do I need a GoPro? I ain't got no money for a GoPro, you know, so um I might think about getting another camera but I don't have the money right now for that, so the trick is in the lighting and it's hard to get the lighting so perfect. See, I, I wish uh, QuickTime had um, options where you can change, but the way I see it is, if I have it on top, I mean the lighting, yeah, it makes the uh, uh, it makes me look better with with less graininess, but the background still looks grainy. So, if we move the light here, I mean, this is how I wanted to have it. One light here and one light on the other side. But it's still too bright of a light. You need to move it further away. And it's just, lighting is very tricky, man. It's hard to get the lighting right, you know. So. The way I have it right now is I have uh, just a regular lamp light over here. You know, I have a regular lamp light there. And it's like, it's not enough, you know? I need like high power lighting. It does see the, it's not really how bright you get it. It's how you adjust it. Because when you have a light too bright, it just looks too bright, you know? <clears throat> and um, I guess what I need to look into is soft lighting, like uh, yellow lighting or something like that. I don't know, color light. I don't know, I need it really um, <clears throat> experiment with the lighting because the way it looks right now is like it, it didn't look like this before you know a couple weeks ago so it's very strange just making me think there's something wrong with the quality of the camera maybe but um, I just need to uh, look into the lighting it's a hassle okay so the topic of the day will be about strange clouds that have been descending from the sky strange clouds descending from the sky. It sounds hard to believe because a lot of people out there are saying that clouds are vapors or a gas or not a physical object that can land down like this. <clears throat> it takes shape, you know, you move your hand through it and you can actually hold it. With the real cloud, you can't hold particles of it. So uh, that will be the topic of the day and what people are saying it is um, and what it doesn't make sense because of the things that is made of isn't around in certain areas of other places so that is very strange that will be the topic of the day okay and um, I hope the audio was loud enough at the beginning because I didn't have the microphone plugged in I hope one it was uh, audible and two I hope it was loud enough with the music, I have the music playing down there, and it's always hard to adjust. 
if the music's too loud, am I talking too loud, am I talking too low, is the music too low? The volumes are always hard to adjust, you know, so. I mean, I, I believe I have everything the ideal volume. I know sometimes a lot with the, a lot of people's videos, some sound way too low and then some are way too loud, so. <clears throat> it's very hard, you know, to get the audio perfect, the, the quality of the video perfect, and, you know, but to uh, remove all this graininess, lighting is a trick. So I, I will get that um, solved tomorrow. So we got a bunch of news stories here. We'll just uh, run through them really quick. Does Bigfoot photo reveal, I mean, does, does photo reveal Bigfoot? Um, the Dulce Underground Base Conference on June 23rd, 24th featured local and national researchers uh, who talked about um, the paranormal, supernatural. And, um, let's see here. A photo taken in, 19, in the 1970s shows Bigfoot. Now, it's weird because there weren't that many people hoaxing stuff back then. I mean, yeah, you've always had your hoaxers out there. <clears throat> but my theory is Bigfoot could be an apparition. It could be like a ghost. That's why we're never able to capture him. Because he may be... He just may be a ghost. So this is a faraway shot. <coughs> faraway shot and in that red circle. Let me zoom in. <coughs> and when we zoom in, <coughs> it's hard to say this is Bigfoot, man. For all we know, that could be a bear standing up. It could be a, another person, a human. Um, it's very hard to say that that is Bigfoot. I don't know, man. So, you know... It's weird because the arms and legs are black, but the middle is white. It looks like a panda. <laughs> now, what would a panda be doing in... And where was this? The Apache tribe? Um, somewhere by Mexico? What would a panda be doing there? Pandas are not found in that place of the world. Pandas are only found in Japan, so... It is weird. Uh, next story is... <clears throat> Amazing Jupiter image released. There are more swirls in it now than has been before. Jupiter has always been seen with less swirls, but now these swirls are happening more and more, more frequent. So could this be a sign that one, the weather could be changing on Jupiter? Or could something else happen? I heard that scientists are saying that the red eye storm on Jupiter is going to stop swirling and will no longer be red soon. Now, it may take um, 20, 50, maybe 70, 80 years for the redness to dissipate, completely um, disappear. Um, <clears throat> it may take a while. Um, or it may happen fast, scientists don't know, but they're estimating it may take a while. Just like they say, even if we were to stop all pollution, all pollution tomorrow, uh, and we were to stop all factories uh, emitting pollutants, also, if we were to stop all that tomorrow, scientists are saying it's still going to, um, it's still going to be around, give or take, um, another, you know, the same, another 70, 80 years, a decade. I believe a decade is a hundred years. Uh, is a decade 10 years? I'm not sure, but, uh, a <clears throat> hundred years for all the pollution that is on the earth to escape. So even if we were to stop all the emissions, um, of pollutants, it will still be trapped in the earth. Because most people think that since it's up in the air, it'll just disappear. That it'll just uh, <clears throat> dissipate and just, you know. Um, 
evaporate. They see it like these it, the pollutants will just evaporate. They don't. They stay trapped in the atmosphere. You know, that's what's weakening the ozone layer. So if we don't have an ozone layer anymore and a meteor comes in, that means it will no longer be burned up from the atmosphere, the ozone layer. The ozone layer was created by God to protect against incoming asteroids. And humans have completely almost depleted the ozone layer to where later on in the future there may be no more ozone layer and nothing will be able to stop an asteroid. Um, they say, there's theories where they say, well, if they blow it up with a nuclear bomb, could create more fragments everywhere, it could be worse. Um, <coughs> <coughs> so they got crazy, crazy, radical ideas out there. They say they want to have jets on it that push it off course, which sounds um, like a good idea. It sounds possible. Theoretically, it sounds possible. Could it really be possible, though? You know? <clears throat> and, you know, they say all the time, you know, if there's a meteor or asteroid coming from behind the sun, we can't see it. By the time we see it, it's already too late. You know? <laughs> Sometimes it comes in too fast, we can't even fly um, crafts up there to stop it. So... They have other ideas, you know, paint the asteroid and the sun will divert it. I mean, I don't know about that. Uh, lasers even pushing it off course. There's all kinds of radical ideas out there. But so far, the most um, best solution is with jets that land on it and, and divert it. That's about the most uh, logical way possible to prevent a nu uh, nuclear attack. Yeah, that too to prevent an asteroid attack because an asteroid attack is like a nuclear blast uh... what a nuclear blast does is when it hits it creates a shockwave first that's why in a lot of uh... uh... old videos you see the nuclear detonation you see all the houses like go to the side in the wind that's for the shockwave so not only do you have to survive the shockwave you have to survive all the flames uh... coming in then after the flames is the third, uh, the third round, which is uh, radiation. And radiation is easier to survive if you have the suits for it and stuff like that. But the suits can really protect against flames. I mean, theoretically they can if it's um, made with strong enough material, but, you know, it costs money, you know. So <clears throat> trying to survive the shockwave is one of the hardest parts, and the flames. Uh, is the hardest parts of a nuclear blast. The ra radiation um, is possible with suits and all, but you have to find um, ways to get out of the city, you know, move, go to another city because a nuclear bomb could take out a whole s uh, city, you know, and um, <coughs> um, it basically be quarantined, you know, um, and the radiation, the fallout would take months and years, you know, so. Um, it would take a while, you know, um, and it's weird because if we get some rogue soldiers who get their hands on a nuclear bomb and set it off in cities in America, that would be scary, you know, um, even if terrorists uh, tried to, uh, uh, in cahoots with soldiers, that's why we need to really uh, refine our military and, you know, find the bad ones. Because there are terrorists signing up for the military who are pretending to be good when they're not, you know. And they're like spies in the midst. And they are traitors, man. And you hear all the time of, you know, these you know, the shooting at Fort Hood. That was a terrorist who was shooting uh, soldiers, you know. <clears throat> so... We need to find a way to really screen out the soldiers more. I know it's hard to do, you know, because <clears throat> it's violation of privacy rights also. So it's a, it's a thin line, very thin line. Um, so that is crazy, you know. Um, Okay, next story is, um, 
haunted doll filmed moving. Now, this doll is not really moving on its own. It is ghosts that are moving it. Ghosts can move stuff. I never thought it was possible before, but I've seen it happen with my own eyes. You know? I've seen about four or five cases of it. Uh, one time I saw, you know, like, like um, stuff on the floor moving, like papers and stuff, without any wind, you know? Um... One time I heard, uh, I was looking through DVDs for a movie to watch, and I heard one lift up right on the top of the uh, TV that was right in front of me. I didn't see it because I had my head uh, down looking at the movies, but I heard it to the top of my head. I heard it lift up and drop back down. So that was the only really time I have experienced a levitation, even though I did not see it, I heard it. Um, <clears throat> and I've seen stuff move around, like something in my room is in a certain way, I come in and it's in the, uh, another spot, weird stuff, you know what I mean? So I believe that ghosts can move stuff around, and you know how when we're always losing stuff, we're looking for a phone or keys, we're like, where is it? Could be possible ghosts could be moving it around, I know it sounds hard to believe, man, but ghosts have certain, um powers abilities they think they're they think they're gods with superhuman powers you know and um, their powers are limited they may have certain powers for the meantime but once Jesus returns that's it all evil's powers are out the door man that's it you know <clears throat> so these dolls moving around that would be creepy to actually seeing it you know um, now, and it's just a theory. They can even try to move the eyes. Like, if the head's just in one spot, the ghost can even try to move the eyes if the eyes can turn. You know? Not that many dolls have that feature. Um, but there are some that can do that. Um, even just the head moving around. You know? And I felt ghosts tug at my shirt and stuff. So I know ghosts can move things. And ghosts have never hurt me. You know? They've never scratched me like they do in and these uh, shows and stuff like that you know I don't know if they can really scratch or hurt people people say it happened to them but it never happened to me so I don't know man next story uh, face of Jesus appears on a wall this is big uh, a discolorization on a wall in France it's generated a lot of buzz okay uh, so this is a video right here Okay, I'm seeing it at the same time you all are seeing it also. Where is that? Let's see, you gotta really point it out now. Where is it? Where's Jesus? Ah, uh, the phone looks so bright. It looks a little bit bright and blurry. I don't know. I'm going to have to try to get a screenshot of this here. <coughs> <coughs> I need to go full screen. I need to take it frame by frame and find it. The microphone falling here. Oh my god. Okay. okay, I see it now. Now it's weird. This is a weird face because the mouth looks a little cartoonish. Like it's too much of a grin. I don't know. I do see a face, but is this Jesus is the question. Let's see if I can point it out here. There we go. We see it now. There's the two eyes, nose, and mouth. Now what I was pointing out, the mouth looks very big, very cartoonish. You know? So we do even see a hairline here to the left and the right. So it, is, it does look like a face, yes. But the question is, is that Jesus? I mean, what could it be? Could, is that a demon? Is it the Antichrist? Gog and Magog? I mean, there's a face there. Weird. But is it Jesus? If it was Jesus, he would have been like on a cross or something, you know? So, I don't know. Let's just hope it is Jesus. Amen? Let's hope more signs keep happening. Let us pray for more signs to keep happening. And let us pray for God to show powerful 
obvious signs. <clears throat> Let us pray that God keeps showing the signs get greater and greater. Roswell crash site debris may be confiscated by BLM. What is BLM? The, B the Bureau of Land Management. Aha. So all this time, there's been debris of UFO particles in Roswell. Why is it all this time that they want to go and clean it up? I don't know. The story sounds a little bit hyped up. But then again, it sounds true. Because maybe they searched everything they could find, but was not able to find stuff that was buried under dirt and stuff like that. Because you know when it rains, um, the dirt shifts around, turns into mud, and it reveals stuff that's down in the ground. So maybe after so much rain has uncovered other objects <coughs> of a UFO crash. Now, me personally, do I believe uh, extraterrestrial crashed in Roswell in the 60s? I like to say no, I don't believe that because if they're so intelligent, how could they be shot down? But then again, um, the military probably shot them down. But then again, you got to think about this. Why would extraterrestrials only send one spaceship to Earth? Uh, where was the other ones all around the world? <laughs> You know, um, well, people say, oh, well, that one was just a lucky one that, that found Earth. If extraterrestrials are so intelligent, they would have sent an armada, man. Thousands and thousands of spacecraft towards Earth. And they all would have found their way, you know, if they're so intelligent. So it makes me wonder. Um, I think it was maybe a hoax created by the Men in Black um, <clears throat> as a hype. You know, it was created by scientists to hype up extraterrestrials and bring awareness to it and even human cloning. <coughs> <coughs> That's why the alien in Roswell has, I believe, six fingers on each hand and six toes on each feet. Um, and it's a female extraterrestrial that is pregnant with a very large stomach. Now, that could be a clue that... Um, if it was real, that could be a clue that that alien came to try to multiply on Earth with that offspring, with that baby. Um, but if it is fake, if it is a hoax, then that means that the mad scientist wanted to get everyone to um, um, not just talk about, but think about to come to the understanding and knowledge of you know, that this extraterrestrial was pregnant and could be a reason of human cloning and stuff like this. <clears throat> you know, maybe the mass scientists wanted to promote that idea of that information, but wanted to do it in a uh, subliminal, subtle way. That's my theory on it. Next story is, or even it was a manifestation uh, demons appeared, um, and demons made it appear, you know, no theory is off the table, man, next story is, rat chews up nearly $18,000 and dies in ATM, <laughs> look at this, all that that you see there is actual cash money, chewed up by a rat, you dirty rat, you, can you believe it? This was in India. 2,000 notes and 500 rupees. Man, that could happen anywhere. That is crazy. Next story is... Um, that was a funny one. Sad news, a rat passed away. Um, here's how your water bottle could start a fire. Can you believe a water bottle could start a fire? A water bottle sits innocently in the car. Well, are they going to say the heat will set the plastic chemicals in the bottle on fire? I guess that's what they're going to say. Um, uh, let's see, the plastic. <sighs> the plastic acts as a lens, like a magnifying glass. Oh, okay. 
and can uh, magnify light into heat like a magnifying glass onto flammable um, things. That is weird. And they've actually proved this by actually doing tests. <coughs> <coughs> and they're saying <laughs> that it is not just a theory, that it really does happen tested in laboratories. So, crazy. Um, next story. U.S. Senate to Turkey. They say, give us Pastor Brunson or no fighter jets. <coughs> <coughs> now, apparently, Turkey wants a bunch of fighter jets from us. Why should they be given fighter jets when the president of Turkey, Erdogan, is doing all this persecution of Christians there and promoting terrorism with ISIS? You know. <coughs> <coughs> oh man. Um, President of Turkey really needs to be um, stopped. By stopped, I don't mean killed, assassinated. I mean um, with the revolution of the people uh, uh, demanding elections of someone else, man. That's. That's what we need to see happen all around the world. What happened in Egypt when they <clears throat> changed their government. They stood up, man. They started the revolution. That needs to happen everywhere. Philippine president sparks outrage after calling God stupid. Are you serious? Uh, Philippines. The president, Rodrigo Duterte. D-U-T-E-R-T-E -E. is in hot water after calling God of the Bible stupid for allowing Adam and Eve to sin in the Garden of Eden. That's crazy, man, because Christians say, oh, it's free will, it's yin-yang, it's we have to earn our way to heaven, that life is a test, you know, that um, we have to earn our way into heaven, you know, that's, that's a Christian um, <clears throat> dogma of why things are the way they are, you know. So it's hard to argue with atheists about that and say why did God allow it all and why doesn't why doesn't God ever stop it all and why didn't God make everything perfect and it's hard as a Christian to argue that. We just we have no reply. We just like you know, but the way I see it is, it is what it is, and we just need to keep fighting the good fight for for God, you know. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, the, this world ain't perfect, but, you know, there's a lot of beauty in this world. And um, the people, the evil people of this world have allowed the world to fall, you know, to become as bad as it is. So... Whatever situation you're in is poverty, sickness, um, you're dying, whatever it be. Um, maybe you may be dying by some fault of other people, you know. <clears throat> so that's not really on God. That's on the evil people. That's why they're going to hell, you know. So <clears throat> that's why there's a hell, you know. Um, <clears throat> um, to really... Um, judge the evil people, you know? So this is crazy. He's going way too radical here, this guy. I don't know, man. You're going to see a whole lot more of that happening. Next story is... These migrant parents no longer face charges, but they say the damage is done. Now, this is all the of what's happening, of all this immigration, illegal immigration happening, and how they're uh, throwing the children of these illegal immigrants in these makeshift prisons, you know. In my last video, I talked about um, Jade Helm has been confirmed with the Walmart um, in Brownsville, Texas, being turned into uh, prisons for illegal immigrant children. And they're being caged up like animals. It's not right. And the government um, 
<clears throat> now, I'm not saying the government of America. I'm not saying all the government. But, you know, there's bad people in every single field. And maybe there could have been, you know, evil people in the government. Very few. I'm not saying it's like uh, 70, 80, 90 percent of the government that uh, is bad. But there's like the, like one, two, three, four, maybe five percent. And the rest, the majority of them are good, you know. So I'm not bashing the government at all of America, you know. <clears throat> but maybe very few could have... Um, had them go missing either on purpose or um, now when I say missing I don't mean that the children are actually missing no they're still there but they lost all the documents on who their parents are so they may never be re reunited with their parents ever again the damn mosquito in here they may never be um, reunited with their parents ever again and that is sad you know, um, <clears throat> that is very sad because, you know, imagine the horrors of if they're never, ever able to find their parents, you know, and they may have to live their whole lives in an orphanage just because of, you know, very few people drop the ball. I hate all these bugs everywhere. Insects, you know. These mosquitoes. I'm not sure if that was a mosquito or was that something else. It looked like a... I don't know. I hate to say it. A baby flying roach or maybe even those baby June bugs. I don't know. It is June, right? Because it didn't look like a mosquito. I don't know. It's weird. Um, nothing really gets my skin crawling like insects, man. Roaches are the worst. I mean, I could stand spiders. They're like that small. They don't run around as fast. I mean, they still run around fast, but they don't have the same creepy factor as roaches do. Because roaches are like this big, you know. And they run so fast, you can never get them. <clears throat> and at least with spiders, they, they may run fast, but then they, they pause a lot. And they're easy to catch, you know. And ants, you can't even see them, you know. Mosquitoes are like... Pff, mosquitoes are everywhere. Flies? I mean, I hate flies. They're a nuisance. They're not like... It don't really get my skin crawling like roaches, you know. Man, <clears throat> I hate it, you know. I that's one thing I hate about the summers is all the bugs everywhere, you know. <clears throat> so that's weird. I saw this happen when I was talking about this story. I don't know. You know? This is a very and serious, important thing. Um, so I didn't know about this, but when I saw the dream of Trump outside of. Uh, these like tents at night and I thought he was holding like a revival meeting at like tent churches and buses lining up and people lining up in buses I thought they were lining up headed off to go await the rapture um, I still think it's that also but what I think it has to mean is this as well the illegal immigration these tents that I was seeing at night and Trump was in the front um, could actually be the tents that these illegal immigrants are being thrown into. You know, <laughs> <coughs> so it's like, man, isn't it weird how a dream can have a double meaning? You know, so this is very weird. A dream can have a double meaning. So these children are being taken away from their parents. And a lot of these children, they're estimating around 2,000. Um, around 2,000, their paperwork has been lost, so they don't know the parents' uh, names and all that. Now, may, uh, there's even a, a couple of the children. I'm estimating maybe 50, 100 maybe even, that came with people who weren't their parents. Could have been family members or, or close friends, so that is strange, man, you know, um, how all the paperwork has gone missing, and they may never able to reunite these children with their families again, and may have to be in orphanages their whole lives, so this is serious stuff, man, this is a biblical proportions here, this is rapture level right here, 
people think, oh, it's not a big deal. Um, like, like I always say, I, I, I don't like to get into politics. I don't, I don't choose sides, Democrat or Republican. But I will say, it is weird what um, Melania Trump, when she was boarding the plane, when she left Texas, she had the jacket, and in the back of her jacket, it read, you know, brown jacket, in the middle of 105 degree heat. Um, and on the back of her jacket, it said, uh, I really don't care, do you? You know, and that is not good at all. So here she is meeting with immigrants and this and that and saying she's here and she's doing stuff. And But then she just uh, mocked all of them and said that she doesn't care about them. That's weird. You know, no, there's no way to impeach her as first lady. Um... You know, there's that. <sighs> I'm not sure that's a mosquito, man. You see, it's hard because one of the videos I talked about is trying to quarantine our rooms, you know. And this right here, you see behind me, that's the air conditioner right there, you know. And as you can see, I have it with tape around and uh, clear plastic. The clear plastic is what's used on the binders, what holds the pages. I use that. So I can see if there's an insect there before I remove it to turn on the air conditioner. But there's so small gaps that, you know, mosquitoes fly in. And the screens that it has on them, it doesn't filter it out 100% because they're so microscopic, you know. And roaches can get that, flying roaches and, man, this is weird stuff here. Um, roaches can be that microscopic, right, and can crawl through the holes. Even if they're not the flying roaches, they still crawl up the walls and they wiggle their way in through and they try to lay eggs in our rooms and before you know it, they start multiplying, you know what I mean? So um, they try incubate, incubating everywhere, you know? And that is why these swamp coolers are so hard to manage that when you have them on, you can't just be watching it every second, you know? And then a lot of times you have it on for five minutes, it's not enough, you know. You have it on for 10, 20 minutes, and it's like you already let the whole zoo of insects in, you know. So it's really a, it's a hassle, swamp coolers are. You know, okay, wrapping it up. Toys are uh, said that, you know, they're going uh, out of business. They said, we will close for good this week. Now it's sad because talking about the stock market people have invested uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars even into the stock market for Toys R Us and now that they're going out of business everyone that invested thousands of dollars in Toys R Us are now gonna collect zero and it's sad man that's why when you invest in the stock market don't go crazy about it you know uh, don't go uh, spending, you know, um, thousands and thousands of dollars. Be reasonable. Uh, Fifty, a hundred dollars starting off is good, you know. Um, it's bad though. Can you believe the Disney stock? Just one stock, and, and this is around the same ballpark as a lot of other companies. It's around seventy dollars for one stock. Now, when all these companies started, like Uber, for example, they were valued at zero. Penny stocks, they call it. You could get, uh, for like a dollar, <coughs> you could get a stock on Uber at that time, uh, years, years ago. Now, all these companies are like becoming million dollar companies, even billion dollar companies. Um, so it's crazy. So. Uh, it's good to invest in trend stocks and new things coming out. That's what's going to hit later on. That's what's going to get the most yield on your return of investment. Um, and I saw the company Amazon. Can you believe it? The one that started off selling just books are now the richest company. Mind blown, man. I'm telling you. Amazon. Can you, Do you know how much one stock of Amazon is worth? I looked it up, man, and it's around a thousand dollars just for one stock. When it first came out, it was only worth one dollar. So, which means if people bought hundreds and thousands of stocks at just one dollar, 
Now they imagine times doing all that with a thousand each. So say they got a thousand at one dollar. That's a thousand dollars. It is worth I don't know man. how much is a thousand times one thousand. Uh, let me do the math here real quick. A thousand times one thousand is a million dollars. If you put in a thousand dollars and bought a uh, dollar for each stock and you sold it all today you would have a million dollars how crazy is that now <clears throat> even if you didn't do a thousand even if you start affordable what's affordable 300 is what um, the most people would invest and I'm not talking about starting off I'm talking about throughout the years a total of 300 300 times a thousand you would have had three hundred thousand dollars. That's the price of a house right there. Out of three hundred dollars, three hundred thousand. That's crazy stuff, man. And there's a lot of money to be made on YouTube, also. It's it's inspiring, man, to see all these YouTubers getting rich. You know, a thousand, a million views is a thousand dollars. Like what, man? These YouTubers are really making good money. You know, that's what inspired me to start the show. You know, hopefully I can reach that status soon. We all can, man. You know, you don't have to be anyone great and special. You know, people say, oh, uh, Logan Paul just, uh, Jake Paul made it just because he came on Disney. Now, that's not true, man. He could have still reached the same uh, status even without the Disney Channel, you know. Um, there's people, YouTubers, who really start from nothing, man. <clears throat> from rags to riches, you know. And you just... It's, it's all about advertisement, you know, it's all guerrilla marketing, get the most bang for your buck, advertising, that's what it's all about, man, that's the magic of it all, you know, and, um, <clears throat> that's where it's at, you know, YouTube money, you know, it's not no get rich quick scheme, of course it's not, nothing is, people th say, oh, is the money running out? There's so many companies out there. They are billions of dollars that they have, you know. The money will never run out. These companies will always be shelling out uh, money to promote uh, their their ads on YouTube. So don't let that discourage you thinking, oh, is monetization on YouTube just a Ponzi scheme? Is it a pyramid scheme? It is not, man. The money will always be there. I thought that at first. I thought, man, you know, maybe all the money is running out. Is that way they're taking too long to monetize us, you know, but we just be patient, man. Once it comes, you know, it's going to be a great day when we all become monetized and start making a lot of money, you know. But the money is not what it's all about. Yes, the money does help, but we should not uh, worship money as a god, you know. Um, <clears throat> it's people first, then money, then things. Um, you know, so now we'll go ahead and uh, I believe I had one one new story left. Uh, Northern California, wait, more than 8,000 acres burned by wildfires in Northern California. So, you know, it's getting worse. First I thought it was arsonists, but can you believe it's getting so hot and dry there that the forces are just catching on fire by themselves. How weird is that? They're just catching on fire by themselves. I hope that doesn't start happening all around the world, man. They're saying what? California is the most driest place on earth? I don't know. It's weird, man. So that is the last story of the day. Now we'll go ahead and do a, a quick topic of the day. Let's see. I thought I had a little bit of time. Okay. Uh, let me just do a rundown of these... Uh, videos, you know, about descending clouds coming from the sky. <coughs> These clouds that are coming from the sky. Now this one was six years ago. I didn't believe it at first, but it was in the Middle East. And, um, you see it coming down. And there it is. Now I'll go ahead and sum this up. Um, there's people out there saying, based on this main story in India, they're saying that 
It's sewage waste that is mixed in with chemicals that is then swept up into the sky and come back down. And this sewage waste mixed with chemicals is what's causing this white foam. You know? Now that might have happened, that might have been the case. It looks like a head falls off there and moves. It's very weird. See, if you look carefully, you see an eye and mouth. Oh, it's weird. And it looks like a head just uh, came off. You know? <clears throat> so about India, they said, uh, yeah, maybe that was the case there because uh, the foam didn't look exactly like this. It looks more, how should I call it? more thinner like with more bubbles in it it looked more it didn't look thick as this does you know and look it just stands up if this was chemicals it wouldn't be acting like this now look i see like a face on top no the face is right there right in the middle and there's like a, a hand pointing pointing and then you're seeing cloud uh, the de other debris coming back towards it so not only was it pointing at it all the other stuff just magically starts to fly towards it again. So, um, the Muslim that was filming, he got out the car, and he's walking up to it. Now here, you, you, you see it like it's pointing, and you're going to see, like, parts of the cloud coming back towards it. Right about here. See, it's pointing a face, and pointing it's weird. I can't prove it's a face pointing, but it looks like it. Oh, it's so bright. See, he's sticking his hand through it. Right. Look at that. You see that? It's coming back into the cloud. How weird is that? Now, if this was chemicals and all that, like they said, it wouldn't react like this. It wouldn't come back towards it. So, it's, it's making me think, you know, there's something else here, man. You know, there's a face I was pointing to the right. You know, this starting to make me think that this is supernatural. I hope uh, I can see a cloud falling from the sky here in El Paso, Texas. You know, <clears throat> now people say that um, it's just helium mixed with uh, bubbles, soap bubbles, because it is possible you mix it in with helium and it makes it fly up and it could come back down. But I don't think that's what's happening here because when you use a bubble solution like that it doesn't look as thick as this now this was the one that was I was talking about in India uh, this looks way different from the one that just uh, that I just showed I mean this one right here it's just staying there it's not moving you know it's staying there it's not moving so that is that could be sewage waste yes in India you see it from it looks kind of like the foam on the beach on the ocean, <clears throat> but with these are not moving. The one you saw in the Middle East, though, that one was moving. You know, so I don't. That's not the same one here. It's different. I hate it when the foam flips and doesn't get it right. So that one, it just doesn't explain it. This other one, it doesn't say where it's at, but um, these girls, you know, they see a cloud next to the car, and they're scared to touch it because they, they're wondering, you know, what kind of chemical is it, you know? They're wondering what would it do to them? Would it, like, freeze their hand or something or bite them or something? <laughs> you know, if you look carefully, you see it hovering. It's hovering off the ground. So I don't know, man. Weird stuff. Let's see here. And um, this one was in Dakota, Morocco. Now this was everywhere. This one's weird. This one could have looked like it was by an ocean. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe this is uh. <coughs> Maybe this is ocean foam. Uh, Cause it looks like it's near an ocean. I mean, it looked like it just rained, uh, but this this is like everywhere. It's all over the place. It's weird. And again, you see the same thing happening, of uh, the clouds moving around on the ground. Man, I hate that flip rotation, man. Um, this one here, you you start to see one. Um, 
it, it looks like cotton, you know. Uh, when I saw this, it made me think of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man <laughs> and Ghostbusters, where they blow up the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. You know, and look, the, the cloud is just tumbling through. You know, now if this was sewage waste, uh, it wouldn't be acting like this. This is moving like at an intelligent um, movement here. You know, this, that I believe is not sewage waste foam. That could be ocean foam, but I doubt it. I believe these are supernatural clouds that are descending. But it's weird because people are saying that clouds are made of vapors. That they're a gaseous form. That they wouldn't look like cotton like this does. So I don't know. Is it a hoax of people mixing helium with uh, foam bubbles? It could be, but I doubt it. Because if it was people hoaxing, they'd be doing it all the time. So it is weird. You know. <clears throat> now we'll go ahead and uh, do the couple EVPs real quick. I call it marathon EVPs. That's where we just... Rush the EVPs through really quick. We'll go ahead and do four. So hopefully we get a couple of EVPs that talk about uh, clouds coming down. Weird stuff indeed. I hope to see uh, that soon. And I hope we all start to see it soon. The sky is falling like Chicken Little said, man. So true. Literally, the clouds are falling from the sky. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but I think it is science from God. Because uh, in certain areas, like those black girls that saw it, um, <clears throat> and um, the other one of um, the one where it was everywhere, that was not next to a sewage plant, so that can be uh, the reason. And uh, it's weird because um, the one in um, uh, the Middle East uh, maybe could have been sewage waste. I don't know. But the one that, there was even one in, in Wyoming also. Oh my God, lighting. There was one in Wyoming like uh, three, four days ago. And it wasn't sewage waste there. It's weird because the sewage waste in India said because they stopped treating it. that That's why it turned into that. But that's not the case here in America. Uh, America, they treat the sewage waste. So it don't turn into foam like that. So it is strange how it's happening in America. You know, so... I'm telling you, man. There, uh, there is something going on here, and I believe it is supernatural. Signs from God. So now we'll go ahead and um, do four EVPs and rush them through real quick. Okay, here we go.
Okay, on this phone we got the words caustic, C-A-U-S-T-I-C. Uh, sounds like agnostic. Agnostic is where you don't believe but you want to, you want to see proof. Uh, runoff, dolman, and liable. So something is agnostic maybe. Uh, runoff, that sounds like a runoff election. Here. Dolman. <coughs> and liable. Weird. Oh, man. <coughs> oh, these costs. Okay, this phone, we got the words. Southerly, Lang, Akinthosis, Count, Gardened, Recognition, Upholding, Lave. So something is coming from the south is Lang. Uh, laying like ling, lingering. Uh, akinthosis sounds like a chemical. Sorry. Counting in a garden and recognizing something upholding. I don't know. Sounds like being ready for something, like the rapture. And we'll go ahead and do two more. We'll call it that. All right. Okay, it's a lot of words. Ten more seconds. And we have lift off. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and on this phone we got the words. I saw the word planchet. Yo, it's like a the Ouija board. Uh, but this ain't like the Ouija board, man. You know, <clears throat> I don't like... <clears throat> I don't like the bad name that the Ouija board has gotten. You know, because the Ouija board has uh, saved a lot of souls at that time. Made a lot of people into believers. So if you think about it, people always have, oh, the Ouija board is so evil and this and that. You know, uh, it, it made a lot of people believe at that time. So it saved a lot of souls, man, if you think about it. So... The Ouija board isn't bad, you know. Um, <coughs> you know, when we do this for God, there's nothing wrong with it. So this one got the word planchet. That's like the little thing on a Ouija board that moves the letters around. Uh, and then this next word, whip belly. Whip belly, okay. Uh, estival. Sound like you want to say festival. And then guilt, guiltiness, wedged, vised, extraterritorial. Okay, so the plants are like Ouija board. Whip belly. Oh, that's what they did to Jesus, man. They're whipping him. Uh, festival. <coughs> um, wedged, vised, Extraterritorial sounds kind of like extraterrestrial, also. Um, so it's weird because festival, uh, there's a festival called Neon Paint Party at Wet Wild Water Park, uh, June 30th here in El Paso, Texas. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to plan a certain surprise, man. You know, <laughs> and I'll post the video up. Um, 
So I think that's it could be saying extraterrestrial. Hopefully, it's saying some kind of UFOs are gonna appear over this uh, uh, paint party at Wet and Wild. Um, this rave at Wet and Wild. That's my favorite kind of music, man. Dance music. I love dance music. I I don't like gangster rap. Man. You know, if it's spiritual, like like some Tupac songs were, you know, I'm all in favor for that. I love that kind of music. But when it talks about, you know, all the immorality and the sex, drugs, and oh my god, all that, no, I don't like. And on this phone, we got the words Hunter, Flume, Squandered, Paddock, Proportioned, Deco, Persuaded, and Centum. Okay, so... Paddock, that was the name of Stephen Paddock, the shooter in Las Vegas. This is weird. Uh, so Paddock was a hunter. Flume, like flames. He's in the flames of the fires of hell now. Because uh, he squandered his life. Uh, and the proportion of evil uh, as a biblical proportions. Uh, Deckel. Sounds like tackle, maybe, or something. Persuaded Centum. That's where we persuade the evil people to repent. So, it's weird. We didn't have really a prediction. Hopefully, we have a prediction of this one that said, uh, Planchet Whip Belly Festival uh, Wedge Extraterrestrial. Hopefully, this is predicting that UFOs will appear over the Wet and Wild Neon Paint Party rave in El Paso, Texas on June 30th of this year. Hopefully, it happens. I'm making an official prediction, and I'm hoping it happens. Amen. Hallelujah. So... Oh man, if it happens, I could come back on the video and say, look, look everyone, I predicted it and here it is. Like I've had a couple predictions before that came true through this medium. So these apps on these cell phones are awesome, man. It's called ADV. Also says EVP in red letters. <coughs> and there's nothing wrong with this um, um, trying to find the angels of the Holy Spirit here. Um, it's all in the, the power of the beholder. You know, people try to use these things for evil ways by getting information on people uh, for bad intentions. That's where it can go wrong. You know, people want to start um, <clears throat> trying to talk to demons and stuff. That's them, you know. We are looking for angels of the Holy Spirit here, you know. So, we'll go ahead and edit there. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Please tell everyone to subscribe. I got my donation link um, in the description. Um, <clears throat> and please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. God bless you all. Peace.